Take it easy, honey. It's not as bad as all that. This is just great. I was sleeping okay through that sniveling. Now you really have to set her off. Hey, look, kid. We all went through the same thing at first, but you get over it. <laughs> One of these days you'll be bumming cigarettes for me and, and trying to sneak an extra dish of raisin pudding. Sure, kid. You just listen to Tracy. We're all just in here for a big party. Will you shut up, you big slob. Me a slob. Do you know what she's in here for? <laughs> And I don't care who knows it. One will get you ten. That big ape Eric is wandering around. And that there'll be somebody dead in the morning. Hey, hey, don't scream. Why don't you dare? They'll fix you up in a hurry. They got wonderful aspirin in here. Fixes up anything. Come on. It's all right. Just sit down over there. There they are. What's wrong with this one? Oh, she just has an upset stomach. Uh, she misses those cheeseburgers at the corner drugstore. Speak for yourself. Well, I tried to eat my breakfast, but I couldn't keep it down. You're new here, Anna. Sherman. Your record shows a heart murmur. Oh, no. Sit I'm down. Sure. How's the knee feeling? Yeah. One more treatment from you, they'll have to amputate. Dr. Freneau, you shouldn't let them speak to you like that. It's bad for discipline. So I think up funnies. Got plenty of time. Another funny from you, and you'll be thinking them up in isolation. Send in two matrons. We're sending you to the infirmary. Uh, no, uh, she just needs something to settle her stomach. And uh, anyway, you don't want to miss the movie tonight, do you, Anna? No. You'll both miss the movie tonight. Matron, take that one to uh, the infirmary. Tell Dr. Murdoch she needs a complete checkup. And take this one to the isolation cottage. I'd better put another bandage on this. Let her bandage it herself. She seems to be quite a medical expert. It'll keep her mind off of jokes. Matron. Morning, Miss Adams. Hi, Tracy. Tina, wake up this morning. Did you hear those screams last night? I was sleeping off a pill Murdoch gave me for my nerves. I didn't hear a thing. What screams? Oh, just screams. We've heard them before. Every time we do, we find out the next day that somebody died. Oh, look, Tracy, now you're not going soft and spooky on me, are you? I like you much better when you're your hard-bitten old self. Well, just the same. I'll bet you a box of Girl Scout cookies that somebody died last night. Mrs. Ford? Yes? Did anything happen last night? Happen? Like what? 
Well, did anyone die? Why, yes, Angie Collins. In the infirmary, she had another heart attack. But I didn't think anybody knew about it yet. Just the grapevine, Mrs. Ford. Well, I guess I owe you a box of Girl Scout cookies. Oh, save your money. Send me flowers after I have a heart attack. Oh, you're being ridiculous. Now, a girl had a heart attack, she probably screamed in pain. Oh, no. No, it happens much too often. Healthy young girls, I'd sure like to take a look at the death records around here for the past few years. All right, just to prove a point, I'll look at the death records. Well, now, you be careful. Just because you went to school with the governor's daughter, somebody around here is playing for keeps. 